Let's take a look at the components found in a typical drum brake system. We have the back plate assembly, the brake drum, the wheel, and the wheel nuts. First, we will take a look in more detail at the brake drum and back plate assembly. Brake drums are generally made of cast iron, which conducts heat well and is slow to wear. The drum rotates on the axle and wheels, providing the friction surface when the brakes are applied. Next, we have the back plate assembly. The back plate assembly contains all the components required to operate the drum brake. Let's explore each of these components in turn. The back plate remains stationary and provides a fixed base for the other components to attach. Next, we have the brake shoes. Brake shoes consist of a steel frame fitted with friction material or brake lining. This material is bonded or riveted to the outer face of the shoe frame. There is a wheel cylinder. The wheel cylinder is connected to the hydraulic system and contains pistons which are forced outwards by hydraulic pressure when the brake pedal is pressed. Shoe retaining springs pull the brake shoe down onto the back plate, keeping it in position. A tensioning spring is fitted to the shoes. When the brake pedal is released, hydraulic pressure is reduced, allowing the tensioning spring to withdraw the wheel cylinder pistons and pull the brake shoes away from the drum. This allows the wheel to rotate freely once more. Drum brakes use a self-adjusting mechanism. The adjuster takes up excessive clearance created as the friction material on the brake shoe wears, reducing the return movement of the shoe. This effectively brings the brake shoes closer to the drum and maintains a consistent pedal feel and braking response. Finally, we have the handbrake mechanism. The handbrake cable enters the drum through the back plate and connects to the brake shoe lever arm. Cable, electronic and hydraulic systems are found in handbrakes, but in our example, cables are used to activate the rear brakes. When the handbrake is pulled upwards, the cable is tensioned, forcing the brake shoes out against the brake drum. A ratchet in the handbrake maintains this tension until the handbrake is released. And that's the basics of a drum brake system.